Kylie Jenner is giving fans another peek at baby number two. Baby number two. Baby number two. Congratulations. Thank you. The beauty mogul shared some sweet snaps from her family's lavish Easter celebration, including this pic of her baby boy, who was born February 2nd, in the arms of his dad, Travis Scott. While the photo doesn't show the little one's face, we do see his sense of style, rocking black and red sneakers and blue jeans. Safe to say, the little man's got swag. Thank you. Now, Kylie has yet to share a full photo of her son after announcing in March his name will no longer be Wolf, which she recently opened up to E.T. about. Wolf was never on our list. Okay. Um, it just was actually something Chloe suggested, and I liked <laughs> the name. Don't do this no, to I, me. No, I liked the name. I don't think anything. I still there's nothing like against Wolf. Wolf. I love it. I love it. I yeah. like Wolf. Wolfie. I just wasn't him. But the reality star says she and Travis are steps closer to deciding the new moniker. We have some really <laughs> strong options, but we haven't officially changed we it. We have some placeholders. So okay. before I officially change it, I just want to be sure. You're seeing that little personality. Mm -hmm. But back to the Easter fun. Look what the Easter bunny did. To say the Kardashian-Jenner family went all out for the holiday is an understatement. The festivities were held at Kris Jenner's house and included giant chocolate eggs with each family member's name, Easter baskets, and a table filled with tasty treats. Well, look at these baskets for all of the grown-ups. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Yeah, Kylie also gifted her daughter Stormy and nieces Chicago, True, and Dream their very own gumball machines in pink, purple, and baby blue. I love it. The holiday get-together comes just days after the family's new reality series premiered on Hulu. My pregnancy is really public this time. I feel like we're being chased. Tristan and I are complicated. Trust takes time. And while fans will continue to get a behind-the-scenes look into their lives, this time around, some things might be a little different. I think for every sister, we have different boundary levels, and we all try to respect that. Your boundaries are allowed to change, and mine will probably change later, but I think a lot of what is in the media is sort of things that we feel we need to film because it's in a way unfair to the viewers if they don't get to see that we've shared so much about our lives. The episodes are more a little bit documentary style. Mm -hmm. And I think that you have a real insight into what the girls are doing. Not only, you know, what you see in the press or whatever, but what's really happening behind the scenes. And I love that some of the journeys that all of them are on, it's just so interesting to see it from the inside out and really get a glimpse of what happens and how they all balance what they do. Because before you would see little snippets of something, and now I think the episodes are, um, you know, fuller of content that shows the whole story. Never go against the family. Never go against the family.